A rabbi convicted of secretly recording dozens of women in spiritual baths will now spend six and a half years behind bars. Roz Plater, live now with what victims are saying about that sentence that was handed down. Roz? Leon, the courtroom was packed. A lot of the uh, victims wearing orange because they hoped the rabbi would end up in an orange prison jumpsuit. Turns out they got their wish. The once prominent Georgetown rabbi Barry Frendel was sentenced to six and a half years behind bars. Frendel pleaded guilty to secretly videotaping 52 women as they took part in a ritual bath known as the mikvah at his Kesher Israel synagogue. Prosecutors say he taped as many as a hundred more women and in court victims applauded the sentence. He needs to do time. I don't think, I do think he was a danger. But Frendel's lawyer had asked for community service saying the rabbi was in treatment and in court supporters spoke of his good deeds. For 35 years I've known the man. He's done 35 years worth of good things. Frendel also spoke telling the judge he was horrified and disgusted by his own behavior but he never turned and spoke to his victims. It wasn't uh, from the heart. I felt like what he said, it, he spoke directly to the judge, not to the victims. And there was, um, there was a little bit of lack of emotion in his voice. So, um, I, and his sincerity was, was not evident to me. What he did was serious, and I'm, I'm glad that the court took it seriously. Sundell's defense attorney says they were disappointed with the sentence. I think it was harsh. He knew it was a possibility. He hoped it wouldn't come to pass. Now, Frendel was taken into custody immediately. His lawyer says they will appeal based on his belief that the judge was only allowed to sentence him to serve that time concurrently, not consecutively. Live in Northwest D.C., I'm Ross Plater, ABC 7 News.